hello guys welcome back to the travel tips and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix warhammer 14,000 dark tide is having low fps and stuttering issue and how we can completely fix this stuff so let's uh, get into this and uh, we're gonna talk about the solution so the first thing what we have to do is we just have to follow the instructions very carefully so first one is we have to select fidelity fx super resolution to Two. that means we just have to turn this off for that just open the game so I'll be showing you when you open the game you will be getting an option like this this is how it looks like so from here first you just have to click on settings now from here scroll down and as you can see here we have two options that is fidelity FX super resolution 1.0 right as you can see this is 1.0 and also we are having super res resolution right so here we have to select this one that is fidelity fx super resolution 1.0 and make sure this is turn it off not turn it off you have to change this to as you can see this is off right now you have to change this to balance it change this to balance it and go for accept then try to play the game and most probably if it's not working imagine that after trying this if it's not working in the balance it we can change into another one for example if you can change this to quality or ultra quality or performance so from balance it change performance and see also if performance is not working go to quality and if it's not working go to ultra quality and see with which one is going to work most probably when you change this to balance it it will be working because for me it worked so that's what i am recommending you guys moving to the next one is all about you have to disable the nvidia reflex to the low latency for that you just have to open the game like this go to settings now from here you have to go over here now from here as you can see the nvidia reflects low latency as you can see this has been set into disable so you have to in click over here and change this to enable you have to change nvidia reflex low latency to enabled one once this done just go for accept and try to play the game and most probably that will be working out and also you can turn off ray tracing for that just click on settings once again over here as you can see you have to scroll down and as you can see the ray tracing over here the ray tracing is turn it off so make sure this is turned off it should not be in high or medium make sure this is turned off and also this is very important that it should be turning off and also the vertical sync should also be turned off and these are the basic steps which you have to do within the game when you uh, when you're having the low fps and stuttering issue moving to the next one is all about you have to set workers thread to one two three four any one of these values so i'll show you that click on the settings over here if you scroll down you can see the worker thread is being set into six so it is up to 10 for me it is up to 10 okay so in some cases this will be up to 10 for in some uses it might be for 13 or uh, 16 so what we have to do is right now this is on six right so change this to one so i'll be changing this to one let me go for accept and try to play the game if it's not working i have to change this to two let me change this to 2 and try to play the game if it's not working keep on changing the values until it is working for you change it to 3 and you can play the game if it's not you can change the value to 4 you can try to play the game change it to 5 and change it to 6 so if you are on 6 you can change value to 2 or 1 will be working good so if you are on 10 and above you can change the value to 6 or you can set the value to 6 okay so set the value to 6 if you are 10 above and if you are on 6 okay you can keep the value to one or two or if it's not that is the scenario you can change with which work thread like one keep it one two three four five six and see which one is working for you most probably uh, two or three might be working in my case it worked for one and also i have i don't have an issue with here so it's not an issue for me also but you can try with this to see then go for accept and try to play the game moving to the next one is all about you have to switch the game into window or full screen for that just click on settings go over here as you can see the screen mode is being set into we are having three options that is full screen borderless full screen window word. so you can change into either full uh, borderless full screen or you can change it into e either word you can change into from the switch uh, window word, you can change to borderless full screen and go for accept and try to play the game moving to the next one is all about you have to do it here manually so i'll be showing you that so I'll be providing two link in the description. Those two links will be for this one. That is first one is for NVIDIA. Another one is for AMD. So here what you have to do is you just have to 
uh, go over here you will be getting the options like this from here select the respective model product series product operating system if it is windows 11 select windows 11 if it is 10 select 10 just select everything and when you go for it you will be getting this option now from here you have to download the driver version that is 526.98 that is uh, updated on 16th november 2022 just download this and install the .exe simultaneously on the amd select everything like i did above you have to select the graphics select the respective model everything and go for submit when you go for submit you will be getting two options you'll be having windows 11 and windows 10 if you're on windows 11 download amd software adrenaline edition which is around 546 mb and if you are having windows 10 then download this one which is around 456 uh, 46 mb once download dot, install the dot exe and most probably the issue will be completely fixed moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that just go over here in the search and search for graphics settings now you'll be getting an option like this so right now as you can see here i have added many games so i'll be showing you here already i've added dark tide so i'll be removing it so i'll show you how to add this click on browse now from here we just have to go to where the game is installed so here in my case it is on local disc c most probably for everyone the game will be installed on local disc c but if you, any other case you have to go in that way but mo most probably the game used to be in c so just open local disc c from here scroll down and navigate to program file x86 open this scroll down and we have to navigate to steam now from here scroll down and navigate to steam apps now click on common now from here as you can see select dark tide that is warhammer 14000 dark tide open this now from here you have to select binaries and as you can see this is the application select dark tide add it so right now as you can see it is added but this is not enough you just have to click on the option and change this to high performance and go for save if you click this on this one that is let windows decide you will not be able to get the performance so save this to high performance and once it is done just close this and try to launch the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game as an administrator you can do it in two way first one go over here in the war uh, warhammer 14000 arctate right click go to properties click on local files click on browse so when you do this it will be taken to where the game is installed this is where the game is installed so now just click on binaries now from here select the dark tide right click and go to show more options go to properties now from here as you can see go to compatibility and as you can see run this program as an administrator is checked always you can if it is unchecked check it and go for apply and go for okay this is the first step and if you don't know how to go in this way like imagine that you don't know this method you can also navigate to another method that is all about this one you can go from here itself by going to local disc c that is open local disc c go to program file 86 now navigate to steam folder click on steam go for steam apps now from here select common go for over here cyberpunk 2077 select binaries sorry it's not cyberpunk this is warhammer go for binaries select this right click go to show more options click on properties go to compatibility and select this one then go for ok and this is what you have to do this is also quite method but most probably you can navigate from steam itself and last and the least one that is all about you have to update not the last 10 days you have to update windows for that just go over here go to settings go to windows update and check if any updates are there just try for update that is also very important so running the os in the latest version will be fixing the issue so it is quite important moving to the next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file for that just uh, go over here on the steam then right click and go to properties click on local files click on verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a little bit a little bit of time because this is going to work so what happens is if any files are missed or if any files are corrupted all these kind of issues will be fixed from this particular end and this is going to work for you so this is quite important and this is about verify integrity of game file moving to the next one is all about you have to disable steam overlay for disabling steam overlay from here itself uh, let me go over here sorry have to sorry I'll, I'll cancel this i'll show you right click go to properties over here as you can see under general enable the steam overlays grayed out which means it is disabled the steam overlay is disabled and this is very important 
if in your case if you see this you have to disable it that is quite important and also you have to close every overclocking applications for example discord antivirus and all these things are overclocking application for that just click on the start right click and go to task manager now from here you have to scroll down and navigate to uh, the folders like for example if you see discord just end the task simultaneously if you see f secure just end the task and you have to do is you just have to end the task which is unnecessary in the background which is running unnecessary you have to do this and this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to unplug control controller usb devices everything for example when you are trying to launch the game you are having crashing issue the first step is you have to unplug everything from pc and laptop for example controller everything your usb sh the, uh, port should be completely free reject everything once the game is launched connect back the controllers okay and that is what you have to do because i don't know why this is working but this has worked for many users so that's what i'm recommending you guys so this is what you have to do when it comes to how to fix dark tide is having low fps and stuttering and how we can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye